Good morning. What's the most important thing in the world to you? For me, it's my relationships with other people. This week I've been writing in my blog about the Ten Commandments. Most commentators say that the commandments are divided into two categories. Those that are about having a relationship with God and those that are about having relationships with other people. It seems to me that those two are irrevocably entwined. You can't have a good relationship with God if you, if you don't have good relationships with people. And if you can't have good relationships with people, you are not going to get things right with God. When asked what the most important commandment was, Jesus summed it up in this way. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Today I would like to talk about how we, as Christians, manage our relationships. Relationships are hard work. There's just no two ways about it. You have to pay attention to relationships. Just like my tomato plants need regular food and water in this weather, so do uh, my relationships. Every once in a while, I see something on Facebook about friends that you don't see for a long time and, and how you can just pick up with them where you left off. And indeed, there are friends like that. But you shouldn't count on it, should you? And I can promise you that God is not one of those friends. God likes really regular contact. And if you don't put a lot of work into that relationship, you are going to have to do some hard work to get caught up to, from where you were. Living in community with other people is all about building strong relationships with them. This week I've been dealing with a family planning a funeral. This family has a strong network and a mutual support system. It was so nice to see, and even though not everyone is going to be able to come to the funeral because of the COVID-19 rules and regulations, they have all found ways to give support. It was really nice to see so many of the St. James family also giving their support. You know, when we live with other people, we sometimes need to develop a pretty thick skin. People can say and do things that it would be easy to take as slights or insults, but we simply can't take everything personally. We have to be forgiving enough to look past any small things and see, see the bigger picture. We have to assume that people mean good and not bad. And we have to try to be thoughtful about how we use our words so that there, is a way, there isn't a way to interpret them badly. Although if you are determined, you can probably find something mean or hurtful in just about anything that people say or do. Forgiveness needs to be a really big part of our relationships, too. Everyone makes mistakes in life, but that doesn't mean that they need to spend a lifetime paying for them. 
Sometimes good people make bad choices. It doesn't mean they are bad people. It means that they're human, just like everybody else. Remember what Jesus said? Let the one who's never sinned throw the first stone. But forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that we need to go back to things the way that they were. Forgiving doesn't always mean forgetting. Sometimes it means that we've just learned a really good lesson and have a new place to start from. I think of each person that's an important part of my life, and I realize just how incredibly special each and every one of them is. They have made such a big difference in my life. For the many kind words that they have spoken, for the thoughtful things that they have done, for the many ways that they each share the truly special person that they are with me, I give my thanks for them, and to them, and to God. I thank them for sharing themselves with me, and I thank God for each, making each one of my friends so incredibly special. Let's pray. Dear God, we raise to you our thanks and our praise for all of those people we love so well and for everyone who loves us back. We thank you for all that makes each and every one of them special and unique. We pray for each one now who is suffering setbacks and difficulties in life, those who are dealing with grief and hurt, those who have hurt us with their words or their actions, however they meant them, for those who are mentally or spiritually ill and in need of help, for those struggling with addictions, may we find it within ourselves to reach out in love and offer them your help. We pray for our children and our grandchildren and our young people most especially. We ask that they will be strong and independent and kind and thoughtful. We ask that they will build strong communities of mutual support and faith. We give you our thanks today, dearest one, for all the love that you have put in our lives. You are the God of love. Amen. And now, may God be with you till we meet again.